Imagine you're preparing for an asynchronous video interview and decided to film it in your living room. So you're carefully curating your background. But does the background even matter? Well, what if you now decided to film your video interview in front of this background? Do you think this may change how you're perceived by the evaluator? This is the question I sought to answer for my master's thesis. Asynchronous video interviews, or AVIs for short, have taken off since the pandemic. These one-way, video-recorded interviews are convenient for both job applicants and organizations. Applicants can now record their video interview at a time and location that works best for them. Meanwhile, organizations can review many more job applicants without having to schedule interviews for each one. HireVue, one of the leading AVI companies, have conducted over 80 million AVIs for their clients. AVIs are considered to be a fairer form of interviewing because of the increased standardization for all job candidates. Everyone has the same amount of preparation and response time to answer each question. And since there's no opportunity to build rapport between the hiring manager and the job applicant, this also contributes to a fairer hiring process as evaluators rely more on the interviewee's actual responses and less on job irrelevant information. However, AVIs can unintentionally reveal personal details, like a job candidate's socioeconomic status, or SES, potentially influencing an interviewer's perception of that job candidate. My research used green screen technology to explore this. Participants watched the same interview set against different SES backgrounds. Some viewers were also under cognitive load, replicating the distractions faced by real-life evaluators. And the results were very revealing. It wasn't the actual SES of the background that mattered, but how the evaluator perceived that SES. So for example, whether the evaluator perceived the job candidate as being from a low SES correlated with how hireable they then rated that candidate. This is very important information because it tells us that who is evaluating the AVI could determine the outcome for that job candidate. This is vital for both job seekers and organizations to know. For individuals, it, it suggests that selecting a neutral or blurred background could be key in ensuring a fair assessment. I recommend that organizations should consider implementing standardized backgrounds to promote a fair hiring process for everyone. And it's also a reminder that in a digital first world, the nuances of your background can tell a story. So you wanna sure it's an accurate representation of your capabilities.